So welcome friends. Now we're traveling to the mountains in Piemonte. Piemonte meaning go to the shoe or I go to the mountains. So that's where we're going to. All of the flavor, all of the essence, all of everything that comes from wine comes from the dirt. The more rocks you have, the tastier it gets. So if you have a lot of iron, it tastes like cherry. Phosphate tastes like banana, whatnot. So when you have mountain wines, you're gonna get the best. All of these are Nibiolos. Nibiolo being noble grape. Noble make, makes the king of red wine, which of course is gonna be a Barolos. You'll see a classic Nibiolo, which of course is not official, versus the two most expensive Nibiolos from Gaia. Because it comes from the mountains, it is tastier, it is tannic, you can taste all the little mineral aspects to it, and of course you need to be eating food to go with it. Um, wild game, boar, our wild boar ragu, excellent. So a little something fun. Main differences, your two actual Barolos, classic style, of course you'll see the ribbon, which means they are official. Um, tasty and fun. What we pour by the glass, a little bit easier, a little bit lighter. The two most examples of most famous amazing is going to be your Gaius. There are 10 100 point wines in the world. Anybody knows Wine Spectator? Anybody knows any of the three glasses? Very few people get that award. Gaia has it and she's very proud of it. So to go from something that's $20 a bottle to something that's $300 a bottle, that's where you're getting your classic little styles towards it. Fun, tasty, gorgeous, needs to be opened, smooth, relaxing, and fun, but breathing. But of course, your probably most classic little styles of the best thing that Italy has to offer, and that's why it is called the king of red wines.